everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Planet Nomads. Uh, last episode, we started working on a big project here, I'm calling it Skylab, and it's uh, uh, my first actual build using glass paints, as you can see, and uh, yes, I am going to be going overboard on this one. You know I will, I haven't used these things before, so let's go for it, right? But yeah, so uh, if you haven't catched the first episode, I'm actually trying to make a flying articulated base where it's going to be possible to actually drive around everything's going to be connected up with conveyors and whatnot and this is this is the layout that i have here so far i'm trying to keep it within the animation range so if i'm at the furthest corner over there that this section over here or even over here where the greenhouse is going to be is actually going to be able to move um, i'm waiting to see when they're going to be increasing the draw draw range because you know i'm definitely going to be pushing the limits on that one but anyways, I've been thinking about how I'm going to get this set up. Uh, one of the things I want to do today is get the railings in place. Uh, I also have to sort of think about the conveyor situation ahead of time because uh, this section and this section has to be connected to con with conveyors to here. Uh, being hinged and articulated, I'm going to be using conveyor, conveyor connectors. And I'm thinking about having the, the conveyors come across over top and then down to about here and then have the conveyor connection gap here and somewhere over here. Once I get over to here, I don't really worry about it because this is where the miners are going to be and where the water pumps are going to be. And then the same thing too over here with the greenhouse is. So then that way we have access to the supplies over there and same with the power plant. I've been thinking about where I was going to be putting the solar panels because uh, it will be de deuterium powered. I'll probably get two generators in there. Uh, but I want to get a battery and solar array, and I was originally thinking about having part of the roof of the main hub as part of the uh, solar array and you know, batteries, but I want to try to keep this as open concept as possible, and I've been sort of messing around with some ideas of what I'm going to do on the inside here for the machines and storage and whatnot goes. Uh, but I'm thinking what I'm going to do is cause we're going to have two big generators over here. Uh, I might have a dedicated yeah, dedicated refinery for that, or yeah, it's a refinery that makes the uh, deuterium. Yes, it shows you how long it's been since I played Survival. Huh? But yeah, probably a refinery in there, and then have that automatically feeding generators, which hopefully won't be using too much. And the roof, I think, is going to be batteries with solar panels on top. It's a large enough area if I can get if I can get enough batteries to match the generators it should be okay, it all depends on how many air blades it's going to take to get this thing off the ground but anyways, let's go ahead and get the proper hot bar back up, actually it's not even what I'm looking for, but I'm going to be using those ones, I'm going to be trying to get sort of like a domed roof on this if I can, not necessarily a domed roof, but sort of capped off uh, I don't think you can really see the color on the, the panels, but I was almost thinking black, but let's just keep the color like this. Maybe I'll change the color for the greenhouse if it actually does anything. And I don't think it does. Let's actually find out. Oh, there is a little bit of color to them. Right in the frame. I don't know if you can actually see that. I'll change it to green so you can see it, but a couple of spots right there. No, it's green. That's the only thing that you see. So I'll just keep it like this. Actually, you know what? Let's make a white. Just uh, get a little bit of brightness in here. Not that it's not going to be bright enough. It's going to be basically a greenhouse. I was also thinking too for the greenhouse. I might actually build a greenhouse around the greenhouses just for the sake of it. Uh, so what I was going to do for the front here. I was originally going to have the corner and the wall on this section of tiles here, but it wasn't going to leave any room for the doors. So it's going to be two glass, two glass panes like that. I thought that was seven high. Hmm. I'm going to have to rethink this. Hold on. So it's going to end up like that, apparently. I thought I actually put this down on the ground. I thought it measured seven blocks, but apparently it's only six. But I think I can work with that. And that way we can just keep this going. The reason being is I actually wanted to put double doors here. Uh, I was going to go with the 
dashboard is here the flat door flat door where are you oh, the door I never use right here so I'm gonna use that one and then it was gonna be basically a double door system one there one there and the reason being is so I can, because I built this on odds for a reason I can use the thing that's already on my hotbar and then go like that I was thinking about actually using the conveyors actually Yes, that's actually what I was going to do. Put the conveyor wall there. And I should use the right color at the same time. And then that way I can avoid having, you know, any panels in the ceiling. And in case it does rain, at least we'll be nice and dry. Uh, go back to four. We change the color to gray, gray like so. You'll actually flip this around. Keep it up top. Because I will have the pipes coming across. Uh, I'm thinking I'm going to have the conveyors sort of come to a uh, central hub here and then they'll branch off and then drop down towards the machines and the storage and stuff like that. So I'm going to go ahead and fill this area in and I'll bring you back when it's time to move on to the next one. Okay, here's what I got. Uh, building on this odd was not easy. Uh, needless to say, these 6x7 window panels weren't making it easy at all. At all. Uh, that the problem with this idea is uh, because uh, the window is like not even half a block down, you can't technically walk over it. So it's going to be a bit of a challenge to get to the door, but that's fine. Uh, I was trying to figure out the ceiling too, but anyways, yeah. Uh, so what I did is I was trying to figure out like it was up here that was a problem because it was I was left with nine blocks in, in between. These are six wide, so I was trying to figure out well, what can I do to fill it in. And I didn't really want to start using the small blocks. I remembered we had these things, which actually look really good from the outside. If we step out here, so they do does sort of work. I don't know if the texture connects like that, so that the ridge is always there, or if that's the window. I don't know. Anyway, uh, yeah, and then I just had to put a little dome in here. If I can get in the door, there we go. Put a little dome in here. Uh, I left an opening because I plan on putting a beacon right here. Let's actually do that. Just just because, right? I've got a whole I've got a, an odd spot. I'll throw a beacon in the middle. Why not? Maybe it'll actually light up that area a little bit too. Let's actually find out. Let's get uh, our infinite power source which I just passed right by. Alright. And we'll go ahead and hit the right buttons when I can. It does light it up. Let's see if we can change the color. Perfect. I like that. It actually lights up the blocks. That is a very good idea. So we'll do that. It is a little. It is a lot of weight, but I don't care. I'll go crazy with the air blades. I haven't figured out what I'm gonna do with this air, these corner sections yet because I want to see how the rest of it goes. Uh, yeah, I was. I had one of my crazy ideas, tried to make a little candy jar. Originally I was going to build a, a ball out of these corner corner window blocks and then put a ball inside, but that didn't really look like it, I expected, so I tried to put more in there, but that didn't work out too well. But I'm definitely going to have to do some sort of candy machine or something one of these days. But yeah, so this is what it's going to be like. Uh, I figure we could probably go ahead and put lights over here, uh, wherever the strip lights are. Uh, because of the glass, I want to try to keep the number of lights minimal. Oh, that's odd, isn't it? Oh, jeez. Now we could put it... Actually, you know what? Not thinking outside the box here. There we go. Put a light there and light there. Light here. Oops. Come on. All right, there you are. Light there and a light here. So that's going to be the main hub, we'll get the versions all, all put in once we start doing the conveyors, which we're going to do in the next episode, because I want to try to get the, the main structures built, and at least the layout going, and the railings especially, because uh, the railings are going to be the key key framework of the railings, uh, conveyor system. Conveyors, railings, all working together. But anyways, that's the look, that's the look of it from the outside. Uh, as you can see, I had to do like the 90 degree pattern just to make it all fit in because of the size of the blocks. Uh, if anybody at Crane Balls is watching this right now, I'm sure the community would just 
love you guys if you could come out with a one by one and a two by two panel. Just you know, just just saying. But anyways, that is that one there. So we'll get that up and going later. So I was gonna do a greenhouse, a double greenhouse here. So let's go ahead and get the I could probably get the greenhouses put down because I want to build around it. And Jeez, you'd think I never played this game before. I can never find anything. So we got two conveyor connectors or ports. Alright, well let's just put this one. I want to make sure I have enough room for the, the walls. That's fine. And then I'll just put the mirror on the other side, so it's gonna be the second one from the center. So, and then go ahead and do the exact same thing I did over over there, and hopefully it'll line up a little bit better and try to get the right keys and the right blocks. And I can put these first because the corners, and I'll bring you back and let you know what I come up with. And there's the greenhouse. And again, I was having the same issues where uh, things weren't quite lined up, so I had to. You know, I think outside the box, you make things work, and uh, what I had to do is the side wall, the back wall here. Uh, I got these two standing up, this one and that one. And these ones I went laying it sideways to fill in the gap because I didn't have the doors here. And then I just put a roll of blocks here just to lift it up because whatever. And then the same thing up top here too, it didn't quite work out because I couldn't do the ro rotating, the rotating pattern I did up there. So I just filled it in with some small blocks. Gives us room to put a couple of lights up there. Since it is an e even number, we should be able to have no problem getting some lights. Where are they? Where are they? Uh, I'm sure I've gone by them like 20 times. Hang on a sec. Brain stopped working. There it is. It's kind of weird that it's by the door. You'd think it'd be next to the big ceiling light. So we'll put one there and we'll just put one right there. Just so we have some light, uh, doors are not powered, so I gotta open them all up. And then there is an outside view. It looks like a greenhouse. Maybe we'll change the color of the lights in there to be green, just to make it be an actual greenhouse. So now the last building I gotta build is gonna be the power room over here. And this is probably do want to keep this one up open just like the rest of it just because we're going with a glass theme here and may as well and if I could I would have glass floors but I need to place things actually on the floors so uh, I can't be doing that uh, this one I left a little bit bigger uh, I've been trying to think about what I might do for the, the batteries like realistically I should be replacing the ceiling tiles themselves with batteries just make the whole floor out of batteries because you can use them like building blocks and that way it just saves you extra weight and seeing as how I got 24 panels here uh, that's a lot of batteries now let me do some math here that was quick it took me like half a second to figure it out it's gonna be 384 batteries if I do the whole thing which probably won't do I'd like to keep the size of it uh, so maybe maybe what I'll do is I'll do a bit of a smaller room here we only need the two generators really and possibly uh, possibly a refinery but I could also get the refinery set up in there just for the sake of it but I, maybe what I'll do is I'll replace the outer ring with batteries like the, the, these one two three yeah these 12 on the outside here with batteries there'll be uh, 192 which will be adequate power to keep this thing up and running that's for sure hopefully and go from there and then as far as solar panels maybe i don't really want to have them on the both floor here because the building's gonna block it so maybe we'll just have a have a bit of a roof and go from there so i'm gonna start by of course putting our conveyor post here and figuring out where this is all gonna go now i do want to keep that sort of set up and what I was doing with that is I was starting with this, this one going to 7 high that should be for the doors uh, I think what would work here is 
I guess we could just go all the way out. Why not? You know, I just have a big roof for it. A big roof of solar panels. Yes. We do that. We'll go ahead and put this one in the side here. And sometimes this floating snap really comes in handy. Especially when you're trying to get something just one block up. And sometimes it doesn't wanna doesn't wanna cooperate. But you get the idea, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this section finished up since I can get this stupid thing in the way. It's kind of funny. I actually looked looked behind me like in real life just to see if I was gonna fall off it. But anyway, so I'm gonna figure this one out. This is, might be a little tricky. That was that over there it took me like 20 minutes to figure it out. So uh, I will be right back. And there is the power room. Uh, I actually forgot to put batteries and solar panels on top and I started to think about it. You know, I want to do want to try to keep this open, as open as possible, you know, utilize the new glass that we have. And I was thinking about it uh, for the battery situation. One, uh, I'm going to try to use batteries as uprights for the air blades, which we'll get into in the next episode. Uh, I've already thought about having stacked air, large air blades here, but about the ceiling height and trying to figure out what I'm going to do with the, the other leaves, but we'll worry about that in the next episode. Uh, but first, as far as batteries go, I want to try to get as many as I can. I want to put them in places where they won't be intrusive. And one of the places I'm thinking about putting them is right along here. Because uh, I will have a railing coming along the outside here, which is going to be going over top a conveyor line. And we're going to actually get to that right now. Uh, using the conveyor connectors, it's going to be here and here and there and there. So everything will be all connected. Uh, you have to have storage. Uh, not storage, you have to have some sort of inventory to actually, for the con uh, conveyor connectors to work. Sorry. But anyways, what I was going to do was actually do this on this side. It'll be a little easier to put it on there because you can actually place these on. And yeah, we'll have it on the outside like that. So I'll do it like that. I have a couple of conveyor connections. I'm gonna grab them. I, here I am, typical recording. I'm never ready for what I'm actually gonna do. I also want to use some of these, just because I need something to put railings on. And this is actually gonna work out because the railing is three long, which is a short one there. Uh, conveyor connector should be up here, but it's not. That's the Wi-Fi. Uh, there it is. Almost it looks like a heating element. All right. So uh, what it was going to be was going to be a number number five. Like so we'll put the number four. Of course, your numbers will vary from my numbers. As long as you're using the right parts, all that matters. And like so, and I actually forgot to color it. Uh, go with the gray. Actually, no. No, I like this thing. I got this thing with orange conveyors, and I like it like that. So it's going to be like that, and then we'll change it back to gray for the railing, which I have on number nine here. And I want to put it right on that T-section. And, yeah, we'll go on the inside. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to set stuff like this going all the way around. I will be using batteries. Uh, Again, I'm never prepared. I never am. Um, just like this, and I'm probably gonna have the the black nail, black nail stripe just there for you know aesthetic purposes. And then the same on this one here. I'm actually gonna have the conveyor line on the outside, going all the way around around the corner, all that stuff, and so on and so forth. So let me get this done, and I'll bring you back, and then we'll probably end the episode and finish up in the next one. And there we go. I have the railings and the conveyor line, the main conveyor line set up. As you can see, I got conveyor connectors at every flex joint uh, where all the hinges are, and that's just to make sure that everything gets connected with them all. We'll go up here. We can get a better view. This is gonna be like you know main, the main piloting area, and then this is the mining area. I haven't finished this site up yet because uh, I still gotta put the mining and water pump rigs in. Uh, what I am going to do though is uh, I was thinking about where I was going to put the solar panel. So this is actually the perfect spot for it. I do want to leave some room. I want to leave the last tile open. 
uh, because I'm having an idea for sort of a locking mechanism. So when you raise the pump up, you can have a bar that comes across and locks in place. So when you're going up and down, it's not bobbing up and down, it's just sort of staying in place. So anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna grab a whole bunch of solar panels and I'm gonna lay them like this. Now, my idea with this whole thing is, okay, that is lined up, is that it never has to touch the ground, that it stays in the air. So I worked out it's gonna be, if I cover this area up to maybe just just this strip on both ends, I should be able to generate enough solar power to keep up the two large deuterium generators. Uh, with the deuterium generators and uh, the amount of batteries I'm going to build, I'm actually thinking of a building uh, an actual battery block where it's going to be like a 5 by 10 by 15 block of batteries. Um, we'll have to connect each battery or each layer of batteries as I go. But anyways, so I'm going to finish this up and I'll bring you back. Okay, so there is our solar array. Almost looks like a space station from here. Actually, it does look like a space station. And if the physics go wrong, it will be a space station. But that's fine. We'll have to, we'll have to name the pod there. I'll name it... Uh, I'll come up with a name for the space station. But there we go. So I got the batteries along the sides here. I got eight banks of, I don't know how many batteries are there and there. Uh, on the greenhouse, I did put a row on either side just to sort of line up with the glass here. But that is it. So everything is all connected. Uh, next episode, we're going to finish up with the furnishings, get the main conveyors all put in, and uh, get some air blades going. Uh, as far as the ramp goes, I haven't quite figured out exactly what I'm going to do with this one yet because you know I want to be able to have this control just like uh, the mining rigs over there but at the same time too this is gonna have to be uh, its own support system basically so it's gonna have to have probably six sets of air blades and controlled differently we'll have to do some timing on that uh, and yeah so that's gonna be it for this one because this has been uh, uh, about a week and a half in the making, and I apologize for the delay, but, uh, yeah. So, anyway, so uh, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave me a like, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.